Well, hi everyone, I'm Joe for Whistle Out, and today we're taking a look at the new Nokia Lumia 1320. And this is one of two Nokia phablets, both are six inches. The other one's the 1520, and it's the more premium model. It's got a quad-core processor and a bunch of RAM and a 20 megapixel camera. This is the baby brother. This is the, the slightly cheaper version with a dual-core processor, a five megapixel camera, and everything else is sort of watered down a bit to meet a certain price point. Inside the phone, you get a dual-core 1.7 gigahertz processor, one gig of RAM, eight gig of storage. It's also got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 4G connectivity. But what's most impressive, it actually performs just as well as the 1520 or the 1020 or any of the other Windows phones that we can think of. Uh, Nokia's told us that it's basically got exactly the same specs as the Nokia Lumia 625. It's just blown up and made bigger. The real plus here with the phone is the battery. It's got a 3400 milliamp hour battery and it lasts and lasts and lasts. Seriously, in our test, we saw between three and four days of mixed use. So we could charge the phone on a Sunday night and we really wouldn't put it back on the charge until Wednesday. This is really extraordinary. I mean, most smartphones only last for a day. And if we're lucky, we might get a day and a half or two. To get three or four days out of a smartphone is pretty much unheard of, but you will with this phone. The downside though is that the camera's kind of rubbish. Like Nokia now has a really good reputation for good photography equipment, and so you might think that you're buying a Nokia phone and therefore you're getting uh, a really good photography experience. The truth of the matter is that the, the camera here takes pretty crummy pictures. As you can see in our examples, you know, low light pictures are terrible, but even when the, the lighting's quite good, you can still see a fair few pixels. It's not bad for social media, it's not bad for just showing your friends on the phone itself, but these aren't the sort of pictures that you want to be showing off on a TV slideshow of you know, your favourite holiday memories or your firstborn child. For the price, the 1320 is really good value. Just the display size and the battery alone are enough to get it over the line. The fact that it works so well with Windows Phone that all apps and games run really smoothly and there's no noticeable lag really elevates it in our esteem. It really, if you're thinking about buying a phablet, everything else is of the premium price point. This is the only thing I can think of that you'll get for sort of a cheap price. And so if you're looking for a big screen, I highly recommend taking a look at the 1320.